Today's video is a bit of a follow-up to a previous video I did that's very similar. It's going to be about creating a multi-page PDF file using Bridge. My original video was before Adobe Creative Cloud and this version that's available now of Bridge is a little bit different so we're going to have to do a, an extra step. So I'm going to point out the major difference. Normally in the older versions of Adobe Bridge you could come over here and select output. As you can see, that is not available here. So we're going to have to install that. All right, so what do we do to get what we need? Well, we download a file. So what we need to do is download this file. And you can go right on to Adobe, you can Google the output module, whatever you need to do. Just go ahead and do that and download the file. You can, they have it for Windows or Mac which is perfect for what we'll need. You will also notice there are special instructions here for how to install it. You go to the website, make sure you follow these directions. So I'm gonna go ahead through the process here. So I've already downloaded it, and I'm gonna go ahead and open it and go to where I need to go. Once the output module is installed, you'll need to go ahead and restart Bridge. There will be a pop-up that will ask you if you want to accept the um, additional stuff. So go ahead and say yes. Okay, so now you can see we have the output module. All right, and the steps here will be the same as with the previous versions of Adobe Bridge but I'm gonna go ahead and go through it again for those who didn't see those and so you don't have to check two different videos. Why would anybody need to use Bridge instead of just Adobe Acrobat? Well, a lot of photographers use the Adobe Creative Cloud photography program. This product is a lot less expensive monthly than the full Adobe Creative Cloud. So for that reason, you wanna be able to use the, the things that come with it. Acrobat Pro does not come with the photography version, but Bridge does. So, this is going to help you create a finished multi-page PDF product using the Photoshop files you created. Of course, you could use something like Word or anything um, that will save your document as a PDF, but if you're creating your package in Photoshop, you need an option. Here's your option. The first thing you want to do is create a folder with all of the files that you want to have in your PDF. At that point, you just wanna select the images. They'll be down here in the film strip. So what I like to do is just go ahead and, and put them in the correct order that I want them in so you can easily change the order. Um, I'm just gonna leave them how they are and you want to just select them all because you want, you want Bridge to know that all of these are going into the PDF. Now, you can create a template or you can do it the way you want. Notice here that they have contact sheets available. So that's just something I want you to, to, to notice because you might want to do that. All right, so let's come on over here. We're going to choose, I'm in the US and I have, it, have my PDFs printed on regular paper. So I'm just gonna use letter. And I like it a high quality. And so I'm gonna go ahead with 300 PPI. Now the background I'm going to leave white and I don't want to create a password or anything because these are going to be printed. Now here is the part that's going to make this one image per page. Now let's say these weren't pictures that you were putting in your file. Let's say they were sheets of information because we all know in Photoshop you can create forms and things of that nature. So you want one per, per page. The idea here is to create one per page. So we want one column and one row. You also wanna make sure you repeat one photo per page. Make sure that is clicked. So we have one column, one row, one photo per page. 
All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and click, click view PDF after save. Now I wanna make sure PDF is clicked. So make sure that's what's selected up here instead of web gallery, PDF. And we're gonna go ahead and save it. So I'm gonna call this PDF example. And I'm gonna save it on my desktop. And as you can see, our PDF file is created. If you have any questions about the process, please go ahead and leave me questions below and I'll answer them as soon as I can. I really do hope this video was helpful and um, yeah, go ahead and give it a try.